this tutorial, you are going to need some light worsted weight yarn like Karen Simply Soft or Red Hard Soft. I am not sure what brand this is as it's just a ball from my scrap yarn. You're also going to need an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. To begin, create a slip stitch. Chain nine. Single crochet in the second chain from hook and in each chain across. For rounds two through twenty eight. We are going to repeat by going chain one and single crochet in the back loop only. So here is your full stitch right here. Instead of going in that full stitch like this, we are going to go into the back loop only. So continue working single crochet in the back loop only for 28 rows. I'll come back when I have 28. Now that I have my 28 rows, I am going to fold it in half and I am going to join with a series of slip stitches. To connect it. So you're going to line it up just like this, work into the back loop of this stitch and insert it into the chain. Okay, again, back loop, insert it into the next starting chain. For the last one, get that chain spade, the chain stitch at the end, and that first chain. All right, time to start working in rounds. So we're going to chain two. And we're going to double crochet in the side of each row around. So the side of every row you're going to place a double crochet. So work your double crochets all the way around. Now that we've worked our 28 stitches around, we are going to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet made. For round two, chain two, double crochet in the same stitch, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip one. So continue working double crochet, chain one, skip one, all the way around. Now that you've completed round two, join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet made. For round three, chain two, double crochet in the same stitch, and in each stitch around. So double crochet in each double crochet and each chain space around. So continue working that all the way around. To complete round three, join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet made. 
For rounds four through seven, we are going to repeat round two and three. So we're going to have for the next round, double crochet, chain one, skip one. Then for the round after that, a solid double crochet round. Then again, double crochet, skip one, and then another solid round of double crochet. So repeat rounds two through three until you have seven rounds. Now that I've repeated round two and three two more times, I'm ready for round eight. So we're gonna chain two, double crochet, chain one, skip one, a total of eight times. Two, three, four, and eight and then double crochet in the next stitch chain three one two three skip the next five stitches double crochet in the next stitch now continue working your double crochet chain one skip one all the way around and join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet made now for round nine we're going to chain one well chain two and we're going to double crochet in each stitch around just like we did for round three double crochet in each stitch round. When you reach where your thumb hole is on round nine, you're going to double crochet in each of the chain spaces. And then continue double crocheting in each double crochet and chain space until you reach the end of the round. And then we're gonna join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet made. Now for round 10, we're gonna chain two and we're going to repeat our double crochet, chain one, skip one, all the way around. So double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, chain one, skip one. So continue working that all the way around. At the end of round 10, we're gonna join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet made. Now for the 11th and final round, going to chain two, and you are going to double crochet in each stitch around And after you have double crocheted in each stitch around, you're going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch just as we do on every round. And you're going to finish off and weave in your ends. Both the right glove and the left glove are the same pattern. So just create two of these. You're almost there. If you don't like the top part of your glove to be so long and cover too much of your knuckles, you can replace this double crochet round with either a single crochet round or a half double crochet round. All right, join with a slip stitch to that first stitch. And then I'm gonna finish this off. I always break my yarn. All right, and there you go, finished off. And there you have it, your finished glove.